you are in the early stages of your agency and you're just starting out and you don't really know what you're gonna do, I'm gonna change your life with this video. I have a secret gold mine opportunity that I'm gonna share with you in this video that anybody could realistically very easily hit 20 to 50K per month with. And honestly, this opportunity is the biggest gap in the market that I've ever seen. Nobody in the agency space is talking about this, and it's probably one of the hottest opportunities right now. We have to understand that not all agencies are created the same, whether it's your service or your niche or where you're from. And the main factor in that really being you and how you are, every agency is going to be different. There are probably hundreds or even thousands of SMMA models for you to choose from, but I actually don't think any of them are as good as the one that I'm about to lay out for you. And if I was starting an agency today, this is the exact framework that I would be using. Because this is such a hidden gem, more people need to know about it, so that's why I'm making this video about it. So if you want an agency that you can sustain for a long time, that racks in a lot of money, and doesn't have a lot of headaches at all because your clients love you, watch this video. But before I tell you that, let me tell you how I actually came to this idea. Because without understanding what I'm about to tell you, you're going to make a fatal mistake that someone in this exact niche and service did as well. So it's actually really surprising how I found this amazing model. And it's actually from someone you might know called Theo Vaughn. Theo Vaughn has a massive podcast called This Past Weekend. And as people with podcasts that they usually do, he runs sponsors on it. But then around two months ago, I saw a video from Theo Vaughn talking about how someone defrauded their podcast. A guy called Colin Thompson had an agency that worked with podcasters and the business model was actually really great, but he did it wrong. And he actually scammed not only Theo Vaughn, but many other podcasters of over a million dollars. And that's all because of one fatal mistake that he made, which I'm gonna make sure that you don't make when you start this agency model so that your clients can love you and you can still make a fuck ton of money. So Colin Thompson had an agency called Cast Media. And what the model basically is, is you're helping podcasters find sponsors. It's actually very simple. All you do is you do outreach to podcasters and say, hey, I'll work for you. I'll help you find sponsors. And then on behalf of them, you reach out to sponsors like big sponsors like Dr. Squatch, Athletic Greens, True Classic, Dollar Shave Club, those types of major sponsors that always sponsor podcasts. And you connect those sponsors with the podcaster that's your client. So on paper, this is a very, very simple model. All you're doing is finding sponsors for a podcaster and just connecting them. But there are actually two main reasons why you can make so much money with this agency model. Number one is that podcasters are probably the best niche in the world. The niche grew by 30% in the past four years. They're rich. There's over 3 million of them. And they're always looking for more sponsors. It's a massive win, 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 win. And they're very, very easy to find. And they're very, very easy to contact. And the reason they're easy to contact is the same reason that real estate agents are really easy to contact. I have one-to-one -one coaching clients that are in the real estate niche and they find it so easy to scrape thousands of leads. And that's because real estate agents put their phone number literally everywhere because they want potential clients to reach out to them and to work with them. And podcasters do the exact same thing, but also for sponsors to reach them so that they can make more deals. And with the large amount of podcasters that there are, and the fact that the podcast niche is growing and growing and growing, and they're all looking for sponsors, makes this the best niche you could literally ever choose. So number one is that it's a great niche. But number two is the big one, and that is that with this model, you can create an amazing Grand Slam offer because you can use a really good implied guarantee called revenue share. So let's say, for example, you take a 15% cut from sponsors that you get your clients. If you're able to get a relatively big client, it would be very, very easy to get them a sponsor that pays them upwards of $200,000 per year. We'll use $200,000 because that's a low number, but typically it's more in that $500,000 to $1 million range. If you take 15%, that is $30,000 upfront from one client. That's a lot of money, especially for a beginner. And the reason that this model is so good is because your incentives are perfectly aligned with your clients. And the risk is completely reversed back onto you. There is literally no risk for any podcast in the world to start with you and to get more deals. It's a win-win for both you and your clients. It's even better if you niche down to a specific type of podcast. For example, comedians doing podcasts. Like this past weekend, The Fighter and the Kid or Joe Rogan. Or you could go into the mental health niche or the fitness niche. There is so many opportunities for you to niche down even more. And therefore you have a higher perceived level of expertise and you can charge even more. And so back to this weird guy, Colin Thompson, who had the right idea starting an agency like this and ended up making a lot of money, but he did it in the wrong way. And he actually scammed millions of dollars from podcasters. And the reason for this is that he was taking all the money and giving some of it to the podcaster. It is an option for you to do this. 
and it's pretty simple not to fuck up like he did because he was just greedy and took the money to do things like buy a new house. So if you're just logical and you're not a greedy dickhead, you can just take all the money and then give most of it to your client or the sponsor could give the money directly to the client and then the client pays you a chunk that you already agreed on. So if you wanted to start this, what I would do is I would watch CoffeeZilla's video on how Colin Thompson scammed a bunch of people. I would watch Theo Von's YouTube video on how he got defrauded by Colin Thompson. And I would take notes on what he did because you don't want to end up in a situation like Colin Thompson where you fucked up and you've stolen a lot of money from people. But the model is good. So you want to do it in the right way where your clients love you and the podcasters who you serve actually appreciate you and they pay you well and you don't take any more money from them. That is how you should actually be running this. Don't fuck up like Colin Thompson where you take a bunch more money than you should and instead be frugal and have low expenses, meaning high profit. Because Colin had an amazing opportunity. He had a lot of clients, but he fucked it up. And now because of that, there's a massive gap because Cast Media, which is Colin's company, used to be the biggest agency in the space. So look at what he did. His model works very well. But if you're not like him and you do it right, you're going to make a lot more money, both in the short term and in the long term.